Hello everyone, welcome to Premium Quality, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove any object from the background or like from your photo if you don't want that person or thing in your photo. So, before we start this video, I would just like to let you know that not all images will work really well with this because for some specific things like your hands or head are touching it or trees are in the background, it'll make it look just really weird. So yeah, we're going to be using Paint 3D for this, so it should be installed on your computer. So here it is. So I have a lot of projects. I'm just noticing that. But anyways, um, we are going to open something so we want to open our image so you should have your image already downloaded so let me click it again okay there we go and we'll click browse files right here and here it is so this is an example but it's really tiny so we're going to click open and it's going to open the file and i'm i want to remove the pumpkin from here so the main thing that you want to keep in mind is you want to make sure that it's not like your object is not touching you or it's not near your hand or anything like that. As you can see right here, it's not near my hands, but it might still be a bit risky with these hands because it's pretty close to the pumpkin, but we'll see how it goes. So first of all, we're going to erase this from here. So you don't have to be precise about this. This is just going to help us to remove it later. Once you have it, you know, roughly um, erased, what we're going to do is we're going to click this magic select option, and then you want to crop out this area right here, and then you want to click next. So then, most of the time, if you erased it, it'll do a pretty good job. If you, if you had trouble, then you might want to add the do the remove or add tool. Basically, you want the background to be dark and this to be, um, you know, bright and with this, like, uh, outline. So, uh, also another thing, make sure this autofill, um, autofill option is checked, otherwise it will not work. So then you're going to click done, and you just have to hope that it worked properly, so let's remove it. It actually worked surprisingly well for this one. So, um, yeah, once you're done with that, you just hit delete on your keyboard, and boom, it's gone. It's actually gone. If it's not perfect, what you could try to do is try to take, um, try to use the select tool and copy paste it and move it over to certain, er certain areas to help it if you wanted to. So now that you have this removed, you can do a whole bunch of more things with this. Like, you don't have to use it only to remove something. You can also use this to remove the background of things. You don't have to, like, only remove objects. You can remove the backgrounds of things as well. Okay, so now that it's done, we can go ahead and save this to our computer. So we could save it right here, and we could do a whole bunch of more things. So we could say, pumpkin floating without pumpkin. <laughs> This is such a silly name. I just noticed I forgot to explain how this works so you can use it for other things and you know what it will work for and what it won't work for. So essentially it's not, you know, like guessing everything. What it's basically doing is it's basically taking things from the right side and the left side of the object that you want to remove and it's just copy and pasting it in the in that section and trying to adjust it so it looks like it belongs there and tries to blur the edges and do all, all sorts of things so sometimes that's why it ends up looking really really weird and yeah so anyways that's it let's save this okay so now that's done you can close it because you don't need it and that's it so if you found the video helpful then stay tuned for more